Hi, I'm Erin Segovia. I was born in America while my parents were born in El Salvador. My point for this interview is to see my peers who weren't born here, their outlook coming from another country to here. Introduce yourself. Me llamo Valeria, tengo 16 años y vivía en Guadalajara, Jalisco. My name is from Ukraine. I'm 18 years old. Hi, my name is Emelyn Escobar and I'm from Guatemala. ¿Qué hizo tus padres para moverse aquí? Bueno, pues mi mamá pensó que era mejor vivir aquí ya que tenemos más familia aquí y pues es más fácil, yo digo, que la vida. How was it living in Ukraine? How was? It's, I think, good, but it's now, it's war. I don't say now it's good. How was it living in Guatemala? Um, well, it was very different from living in the U.S. because mostly because I didn't really use any transportation since there really weren't any cars, and so I just had to walk everywhere. We also didn't have much money, so sometimes we would not be able to eat much food. What was your childhood like? I mostly suspended uh, outside. Playing in the dirt with my friends, my brothers, and my cousins. How do you deal with language barrier? How do you deal? Um, when I first was like born here, I only talked Spanish. Like With English speakers, it was very hard for me. Talk. I don't know how, I'm just learning English in my Ukrainian school. Mm -hmm. I have less than no English. Mm -hmm. And I some Americans in, in Ukraine, oh. they can't speak. Pues difícil, yo diría que no es tan difícil porque aquí son como más comprensibles y puedes uh, a, a señas o algo así, pero yo diría que uh, se me dificulta un poco más con los maestros porque uh, las calificaciones y todo eso. Uh, there was definitely like struggles because when I recently got here, I didn't understand any English, and a lot of people made fun of my accent and didn't really speak to anyone until I finally could speak English. Is there something you don't like about here? I don't really like the food because for me it has way too much grease compared to back home where it was it's just natural ingredients. What is something you want to do in the future? In the future, I'm a musician. I'm just a producer. Mm -hmm. I just can't sing, play on the drums, play on the piano, a little bit guitar. Well, I wanna, I want to be an engineer and help design and build things for the future, and I want to be happy. ¿Todavía vas a vivir en Texas o te vas a mover como a otro país? Yo diría que me gusta aquí, pero siento que es más, este... Hay más libertad en México que aquí, porque aquí solo sería como trabajar, ir a mi casa, comer y hacer todo en mi casa. O tal vez en las vacaciones. Todavía no tengo pensado uh, hacer algo más en el futuro. Ok, bueno, gracias por dejarlos preguntarte esto, ¿tienes otros comentarios o quieres decir algo más que te ha pasado aquí o algo en México que tú quieres decir? Pues yo diría que si se quieren ir a vivir a México o quieren visitar México, es muy bonito, pero la inseguridad es muy, muy fea. Entonces, uh, para vivir aquí yo digo que está mejor que en México, pero si te gusta como la comida y todo eso. Sería bien solo para ir a solo un paseo y ir de, sí, de ida, nada más. Hi, I'm Erin Segovia, and I would like to thank my peers, Valeria, Emmeline, and David for letting me interview them. It was very interesting to see their outlooks from coming from another country to America. And I think Coming from different age groups to America can change what you think, what you feel, and your outlook from America.
And it really shows that America is a cultural kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm.